Hello, hello y'all. Welcome back to another episode. So this is the day guys. I'm heading out to Piriapolis and uh, I may I might make a stop in Atlantida and from there maybe stay the night. I don't know. It all depends on how I feel after the ride. But um, yeah, here's the bike. I have everything. It's riding well. Uh, feels heavy feels more like a motorcycle, but uh, I kind of like it. It's a st sturdy feel and um, It's it's running well. I, I did some tuning yesterday and uh, So it's more set up like a bike packing instead of a bike touring But I have everything that I need for uh, this trip. So the plan is to head out to Piriapolis um, I'm gonna stay with uh, a lady, an expat, who offer, uh, kindly offer a, um, a place for me to pitch up my tent in her yard. And so um, that was a blessing, that was great. And uh, I'm gonna interview her um, while she moved to Uruguay and how she likes it, etc. So uh, it's gonna be fun and uh, we're gonna be spending a few days over there in, uh, in Periapolis and uh, see the uh, the whole area over there and maybe I might ride all the way to Punta del Este but I'm not sure um, I will have to take the bus back because it's a long ways so to Periapolis is it's about uh, 90 kilometers which is what 60 70 miles or so uh, it's a long ways uh, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to make it but um, that's a plan um, to be honest I have a few uh, doubts about the whole thing I've never done anything like this I would rather do it on a, on a car or on a motorcycle if I had one but um, I'm up for adventure so why not? Let's give it a shot. Anyways, so it's noon around here uh, and uh, it's a beautiful day. It's a little bit warm, but uh, it, it's not windy. Yeah, great for a ride. So, so far I've run 2.7 miles. Anyway, let's get going before the, uh, the day runs out. All right, so we've rode about a mile so far. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see that uh, little mountain in the distance. That's where we are going. But look at this, it's so clear. Uh, I think visibility must be at least 20 miles. It's beautiful. All right, let's get going. So, uh, on the way there, well, as you can see, there's some drivers that are not careful. Uh, they can merge left, but they don't. I don't know why they do that. There's quite a few of them. So, uh, if you come this way, watch out for cars. Aside from that, the shoulder is pretty good. Plenty of uh, plenty of space. So I stopped uh, to grab a snack and uh, was uh, fried chips, about four dollars and some cents. Pretty good. 11 miles so far all right so I'm gonna eat something and head out again okay it looks like the fun is over I'm gonna, gonna have to share the road again with a uh, with the cars and I'm now looking forward to that.
turn left. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Avenida John Adasio. We go straight and then we hit the highway. Um, but I'm gonna try to avoid that uh, the highway because uh, well for obvious reasons. In 200 feet, turn right onto Avenida John Adasio. Okay, dokie. It's a very generous uh, shoulder. Oh boy. This is no fun. So dangerous. So after enjoying that uh, little road, we get back on the highway because we cannot go that way anymore. So back to the grind. Continue on Route 200 General Liber Serenade for two miles. Actually, it opened back up again. So I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna take this right. Uh, wait. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Let's keep going this way and figure out things as we go. Okay, so I think this one takes us all the way to 
Atlantida, the Atlantis so far Uruguay. Okie dokie guys, so we were coming from that road over there and we are heading straight maybe if I do like it here I might stay the night but we still have the whole day ahead so I don't know maybe I continue on 